Hi and hello to everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis in frequency modulation. Welcome to the lecture. Let us, in the last video, we discussed about the interference of noise in the carrier signal. Okay. So, if y d of t is the output of an ideal frequency demodulator, we got this expression. Okay, the link to that video I am giving in the description. Okay, you can watch that, then you have to watch this video. Okay, so it is y d of t is equal to i omega by a cos omega t. Right. So, we can clearly see for the frequency, if you are using frequency demodulator, the disturbance, the output due to the noise is directly proportional to omega. Okay, where i is the noise amplitude or interference noise amplitude, a is the carrier amplitude. Okay, right. For uh, this is for the frequency uh, demodulation. Right, you can clearly see the interference amplitude is this y axis, this omega is x axis. When omega is increasing, we can see it is linearly increases. The noise linearly increases. Right. Okay. For pace modulation, it is constant. For pace modulation, it would be like uh, it's simply i by a. This line is this point this is i by a it is constant it is independent of omega this is for the pace modulation right this thing i have explained detailed in the last video now we can also observe that that is in the frequency modulation the interference of the noise increases linearly with frequency that is the noise power in the receiver output is concentrated at higher frequency we can clearly see when the frequency is increasing, noise is becoming larger. That is, interference becomes very larger for the frequency modulation. But you look at the message signal. Okay, let us take them. Let us assume the message signal is an audio signal. We know the audio signal is between 0 to 4000 hertz or 4 kilohertz. If you look at the power spectral density, it is more at the lower frequency. You can see here the power spectral density that is the frequency versus power that is the power spectral density it is much more at very low frequency you can see up to 2.1 this is 2.1 right 2.1 kilohertz it is larger then after that it is a bit smaller okay so right that's the point so the thing is you can see the for the the noise is more at higher frequency but the message is weaker at higher frequency so this is the biggest problem we would be facing right so the signal at higher frequency would be lost because the noise is larger at the noise is larger at higher frequency so how to overcome this for this only we are going for pre emphasis okay what is pre emphasis you see here at the transmitter side what i am going to do is the weaker higher frequency component right weaker higher frequency component that is beyond the 2.1 kilohertz of the audio signal or boosted before modulation by using a pre-emphasis filter whose transfer function is hp of j omega right okay this is what we are doing okay this is the modulator part this is the demodulator part so what we are doing the message signal if you are taking this message signal as an audio signal the message signal is audio signal that is from 0 it is up to 0 to 4 kilohertz so what is happening above 2.1 kilohertz the signal power is that is the audio power is very very less right so what we are doing we are adding a pre-emphasis filter hp of omega which will boost the component greater than 2.1 kilohertz which will boost the component greater than 2.1 kilohertz right then we will do the frequency then we will pass through the frequency modulator it is passed through the channel okay then the received signal is demodulated then again it is passed through a filter known as de-emphasis filter this is pre-emphasis pre-emphasis this is de-emphasis that is opposite to pre-emphasis okay here if you are boosting that is you are boosting that is are increasing the amplitude of the component above 2.1 kilohertz here we will attenuate we will reduce the we will reduce the uh, 
amplitude of the frequency above 2.1 kilohertz in the de emphasis circuit the output is k times m of t right okay so you can see that why i am stressing this point you can see this above 2.1 above 2.1 the signal is very very weak the power of the signal is very weak so what we do using pre emphasis using pre emphasis <coughs> pre emphasis filter the weaker higher frequency component that is beyond 2.1 kilohertz of the audio signal are boosted before modulation and the transfer function is hp of j omega at the receiver that is at the receiver the demodulator output is passed through a de emphasis filter whose transfer function is inverse of the that is inverse that is 1 by pre emphasis transfer function okay so what is the meaning it's very clear the de emphasis undoes you can see undoes that is the opposite whatever pre emphasis doing this is reversing it okay right undoes the pre emphasis by attenuating this attenuating is nothing but de emphasizing the higher frequency component beyond 2.1 kilohertz and thereby restores the original message signal clear right why we are doing pre emphasis why we are doing pre emphasis the signal beyond 2.1 kilohertz audio signal is very weak so we are boosting that at the receiver side after the demodulator we are reversing the operation using de emphasis filter clear okay now this is the overall circuit you can see clearly we have the pre emphasis then positive frequency modulator this is the channel okay it can be a wireless channel right and it's a frequency demodulator then de emphasis circuit we have output is k times m of t now you would be asking that what happens to the noise which is inserted in the channel that the noise would be inserted in the channel here once the frequency modulated signal is passed through the air it would be there would be noise would be added at this point okay and we very well know the noise what is it the noise is more at higher frequency right so the noise is not pre emphasized see pre emphasis is happening only for the message but noise is coming here okay the noise here you would be having the noise right so noise is not pre emphasized so when the noise is coming it is going through a de emphasize so the noise is having more impact at higher frequency you can look at it again this is at higher frequency when the higher frequency the noise is having more impact because it is i omega by a right so omega is increasing the noise would be increasing right so in de emphasis right that's why also the noise in the channel is not pre emphasized but it is passes through a de emphasis filter which attenuates the higher frequency component where most noise power is concentrated right so two things are happening one we are boosting the signal right at the receiver side we are attenuating back the signal right and there is another advantage the noise which is getting into the channel are also attenuated at higher frequencies higher frequency noise are attenuated because of the de emphasis filter now we will see yes now we will see uh, what is the pre emphasis filter and de emphasis filter right you see here if you look at the um, look at the initial graph right i have shown the interference amplitude okay interference amplitude is omega right at lower frequency your fm is good the noise is very small but uh, at higher frequency fm is very bad because your noise is increasing with proportional to omega but for pace modulation your your uh, noise is very very less it is constant right so higher frequency we prefer for higher frequency we prefer we prefer pace modulation for low frequency we prefer we prefer frequency modulation right so if you are able to design a system you see here fm has smaller interference than pm at lower frequency pm has smaller interference than fm at higher frequency so what is the objective we have to have a system such that it behaves as fm at lower frequency and pace modulation at higher frequency this is achieved by using pre emphasis filter this is achieved by using pre emphasis filter and a de emphasis filter right so what is the pre emphasis filter 
the pre emphasis filter transfer function is given as hp of omega right it is k times j omega plus omega 1 j omega plus omega 2 where omega 1 is 2 pi f1 f1 is the the frequency which is 2.1 kilohertz for the for the audio signal we are considering right and uh, uh, the omega 2 is 2 pi f2 we are considering at 30 kilohertz or more okay so it's very clear omega 2 is much greater than omega 1 right and uh, what i am doing is i am taking omega 1 outside in the numerator omega 2 outside in the denominator it looks like this and we are taking we are setting the values of k to be omega 2 by omega n right when k is omega 2 by omega n what happens this omega 1 omega 2 omega 2 omega 1 will get cancelled right we are plugging the value omega k as omega 2 by omega 1 in that case in that case everything becomes 1 so we have this term now we are going to study a different frequency range right what are the different frequency range i am taking omega less than omega n right you look at this expression right you take this this is our this is our equation we have right when omega is less than omega 1 this omega 1 is a constant we are taking a frequency less than omega 1 right in this case when omega is less than omega 1 what happens your numerator is less than the denominator similarly of course your omega 2 is greater than already we have seen right we have seen your omega 2 is greater than omega 1 right in this case both the numerator is less than the denominator right omega is less than omega 1 right omega is less than omega 2 so in that case we can this entire thing can be approximated as 1 right is approximately equal to 1 so it is 20 log the magnitude 20 log the magnitude we are going to represent in um, this amplitude transfer function uh, in terms of magnitude okay so magnitude okay so 20 log 1 it is 0 db right so for frequency less than omega 1 it is 0 decibel it is 0 decibel next we are taking the frequency between omega and omega 2 okay that is the omega is omega is between omega 1 and but less than omega 2 right in this case you see here this omega is greater than omega 1 right that means i can ignore the one look at the denominator right the new omega is less than omega 2 omega is less than omega 2 so numerator is larger so numerator is smaller when compared to the denominator so this term is very small okay that means the numerator i am ignoring the one in the denominator i am ignoring this term so which and all ignored yeah the numerator i am ignoring one in the denominator i am ignoring this term right so approximately it becomes j omega by omega one now if you take the magnitude it is 20 log the magnitude of hp of omega what is the magnitude of this term it is omega by omega one right so omega one is a constant so when the frequency is increasing by 10 times this is actually log base 10 right log base 10 when it is increasing in 10 times right we can see it, there will be a 20 times increase so the slope would be 20 db per decade 10 times change in frequency right next for frequencies greater than omega 2 right for frequency greater than omega 2 what happens greater than omega 2 means your omega is greater than omega 1 omega is greater than omega 2 right in this case which and all is ignored both the ones are ignored right so j j will cancel omega omega will cancel so it is omega 2 by omega 1 again it is a constant so magnitude if you express in db 20 log omega 2 by omega 1 it is constant right now this is the response what is the response you can clearly see for less than omega 1 it is 0 db when omega is less than uh, omega 1 it is 0 db we can we are just now we have derived right it is 0 db right and uh, when omega is between omega 1 and omega 2 it is plus 20 db per decade and uh, for omega greater than omega 2 it is a constant and this value would be 20 log omega 2 by omega 1 clear it is a constant and this is the free emphasis circuit okay free emphasis circuit so you can see the input is the message signal it is passing through the circuit this is m dash of t 
this m dash of t would be passed through the d module modulating modulator circuit right okay now the important point you see here between these two frequency it is increasing increasing slope that is it is acting as a differentiator it is acting as a differentiator that is for frequency less than omega 1 it is acting as an fm that is between 0 to 2.1 kilohertz it is acting as an fm between 2.1 to 15 or 30 kilohertz it is acting as a differentiator so that is an fm when it is differentiated it is acting as a pace modulator so if we achieved our objective what is our objective at low frequencies we need to work it we need a circuit which works as a frequency modulator at high frequency we need a circuit which works as a phase modulator okay that is to minimize the impact of noise we need a circuit this circuit is doing the job okay this circuit is doing the job right okay now the de-emphasis the emphasis opposite to emphasis the de-emphasis transfer function is this okay i am rewriting already we in the last slide we see we have seen about the hp of omega pre-emphasis right i am taking uh, this what is k k is omega 2 by omega 1 right now if you take omega less than omega 2 omega less than omega 2 when omega is less than omega 2 what happens this i can ignore this right i can ignore this so what happens if i ignore that i can have to put the approximate sign okay i have to put approximately equal right this omega 2 and this omega 2 get cancelled we are getting this term right similarly that's what i'm rewriting here at omega less than omega 2 this is your hp of omega we are getting the same same term i'm writing here what is the product of de-emphasis pre-emphasis and de-emphasis transfer function if you multiply these two we are getting one particularly in what frequency range this frequency range 0 to 15 okay right 0 to 15 it is acting as a uh, the gain is 1 so this is the de-emphasis filter circuit this is the de-emphasis filter circuit okay now we have to draw the tra transfer function right so the expression is omega 1 omega 1 by 1 by j omega plus omega 1 right so what you are taking if we are taking omega as less than omega 1 omega is less than omega 1 means what happens this term omega is this omega is less than omega 1 this term is very small right so it is gone so omega 1 omega 1 gets cancelled so it is approximately equal to 1 approximately equal to 1 so if you express this in decibel 20 log magnitude 20 log 1 is 0 db now the second condition omega greater than omega 1 in this case what happens omega greater than omega 1 means you can ignore the omega 1 right so omega 1 divided by j omega omega 1 divided by j omega so 20 log the magnitude it is omega 1 by omega since it is 1 by omega since 1 by omega when omega is increasing it becomes the slope becomes minus 20 db per decade right so for less than omega the tram the frequency response is 0 db for omega greater than omega 1 it is minus 20 db so this is the response frequency response of the de-emphasis filter right okay right i hope you learned something uh, useful from this uh, video any doubts you ask the question in the comment section i'm very happy to help you thanks for listening